Welcome to this Windows channel and this is another video in our series where we will be talking about the router and the different menus and options. Today we're going to show you how to actually give your Wi-Fi network the name that you want and also the password that you want. And the reason I say that is because most of us or most of people that are not tech uh, enthusiasts often have a router that's been programmed by somebody else. And that could be fine. If you trust your tech guy, for example, there's, it's not really a problem. I often program the routers of my clients and they will keep the same information because they trust me, um, you know, as a tech guy that they know, you know, they can trust and that I won't start, you know, connecting to their networks or sharing that information with anyone. But if your router's been installed by a friend, by somebody you're not really sure of, maybe your tech guy, you're not really, really, th you think it's maybe not a super honest tech guy, or you simply use the default passwords that were given to you, many routers come pre-programmed with a password, well, here's what you got to do. First of all, access your router by opening a web browser and entering your router's IP address. Now, if you don't know that, it's often written on the router itself in a little sticker or in the manual, and it has a username and password that you need to know in order to change that information. If nothing has been changed here, remember, admin, admin. So admin as the username and admin as the password is often the default, or sometimes admin username and just an empty password. Once you log in, you'll go into a section called wireless that should be available in your router. Now, this is a Linksys, but pretty much every router has a similar way of functioning. You just need to find the correct place. Here, you'll have the basic wireless settings, but you'll have wireless security. And here, first in the basic wireless settings, you can change the wireless SSID. So whatever name you want to give it, you change this and this will be the name that your router will use basically when it uh, transmits its name or its SSID as we call it. So give it a name that you can recognize easily. Try not to give it a name that tells everybody this is a Linksys or you know a Netgear or whatever. So give it you know an original little name that you'd like to uh, to um, use. So for example, mine is called potato in French, which is patate. Uh, it's not very original, but it's just because of a very funny little thing. My internet radio says connecting to, and so it always says connecting to a potato. <laughs> and I just find it funny. But you know, you give it a name that you want. Uh, in wireless security, you will put that passphrase of password that you want. Now, one thing that's very important you choose WPA2 personal security mode. It's very important. And there you can choose whatever password you want to give it. Of course, after this video, I'm changing my password to something else. So that's as easy as that. Once it's done, you click Save Settings. Often it's going to say, well, you got to reboot. And once it's reboot, you will, of course, lose access to your a wireless network because you've changed the password to it. So what you'll do is simply go to the wireless list, ch choose your new name of the router that you give it and enter the new password that you've actually just entered here and you're going to connect. And of course, if you have multiple devices, you'll have to reconnect all the devices um, that you have that connect to Wi-Fi. Now, one very important little thing. When you change the name, try not to use a name that was already used in another router. And the reason why, Windows sometimes will have a profile saved from an older router or an older network. If you give it the same name, sometimes Windows gets mixed up and it can't connect correctly. So try to give it a new name that you haven't used before. And uh, of course, good password, the passphrase something complex, you know, letters, numbers, not a super easy thing like one, two, three, four, five, six. It's not a good password. You got to stay secure. Remember that if it's too easy, some people might actually log into your router and use your internet to do bad stuff and uh, you'll be the one blamed.
if bad stuff happens. So it's as easy as that. I hope that uh, it helps you in changing the name and the password of your router. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, let us know. Of course, um, hope you enjoy our videos. Give us thumbs up. And thank you for following us.